supposed to be at 855 Cummins. Oh boy, we have to blow off the engine. There's leaves all over the manifold. Jeez. Uh, I think what happened is it leaked out of there, the drain plug of the radiator. And don't ask me why. I don't know why he did that. Uh, let's see if I can get up there. I don't know if I can get this open. <laughs> oh, nothing. Great. That's not good. That's bad. Everything looks bad on here. It hasn't ran for four years. Something like that. Uh, probably have a runaway turbo, huh? I'm afraid to mess with it. I'll probably just let it sit. It's uh, 855 Cummins, 1980. Let's check the oil. I don't remember. It's been so long. I can't even remember anything on this truck. I know it doesn't have any brakes. <laughs> Well, it's got oil on it. I don't know if that's good or bad. Probably bad. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's good. I know it's not going to move. It's sunk in and the tires are flat. Yep. Tires are shot. You'd have to have new tires. It hasn't been on the road forever, it just sits here. I wouldn't even trust it on the road with them tires like that. Nah, I wouldn't. She's looking pretty, pretty done, pretty tired. Sitting outside all the time too. There's the air tank to get the starter going. It's an air starter, not electric. Just needs a battery to turn the pump on, that's it. Need your fire in order. 855 Cummins. This thing is a mad diesel. It sounds so awesome, this thing. I love the sound of this truck when it runs. That turbo whistling, oh, that's just so cool. I'm sure there's mice in here. I smell it. 290 it says Cummins, but it says 855 on there. Two of 1980, 290 horse. It says 47,000 miles, that's been replaced. It's been you can tell, obviously. It's not the original Freightliner. Here's your air reservoir. You just turn the key and you press it and it vroom, and then you shut it off like that. Oh, yep, there's the mice dust in there. There's your air horn. There's your transmission Eton. I've never driven this truck. I've never driven this truck ever. I don't know how to drive it. I have probably easy. I just don't like to drive it because it has zero brakes. <laughs> zero. I mean, there's none. That's why it's sitting here. Uh, looks like Minnesota this came from. I think it did. It came from Minnesota somewhere. Geez, that engine's clean though. Well, one of these days we'll get her going. This is the last nice day it's going to be, so could have did it today, but I don't feel like even messing with it because I just don't want to mess with it. It's a pain in the butt to get it started. You have to drag the air all the way over here and pump it up and put a battery in there, and we don't have a battery, and it's, I don't want to mess with it. Looking pretty tired and faded out. Oh. 
Yeah, the hood's done on there too. Yep, she's done. Oh, well, I suppose that person that steals diesel from us probably stole the diesel out of here anyway. It's probably all gone. Have to get a hammer and check in there. I bet there's nothing in there. Yeah, he stole diesel. That's nothing new. The old power stroke don't run. And I, I, I'm gonna leave it here this winter. It's not gonna be able to move out of here, but see, we got a injector leak in there. The line. That's probably why it runs kind of rough. It does start good. It's like in the 60s today. There's my battery out of my F-150 over there. I'm gonna fire her up and run her a little bit. I like to run it once in a while and charge the batteries and stuff. Dodge has been running perfect. Got that kind of to run. Let's see here. I, I still am happy that I did this. Um, bypass the controller, the glow plug controller, because it uh, seems like it uh, the glow plugs warm up better. So what you gotta do, like I said, in every video, if you're new to my channel, just turn the key on. It says wait to start, but the gold plugs aren't running, because if you look at here, see I just flipped a switch on, you watch. See, now it's running. I'll just count down to five, run it about that. I think that should be good enough. Half throttle. Wasn't long enough, but. Let her run for a while and charge the battery. Needs a bath. Needs a bath bad. That tree will probably fall on it. Oh well, it don't hurt it. It's a farm truck. See, we pulled the dent out of the door. Nothing there now. A little bit there.
these old IDIs are sure good engines, but like I said, they they poured out this cylinder, the uh, decapitation of coolant and oil. I haven't seen it on this yet, so I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. It runs pretty darn good for the age and the miles and the abuse it's had in its life. Just wish it had a ZF5 manual transmission in it, but I don't. It always does that. If you're new to my channel, it always overcharges. It's always done that since we bought it in 2000. Just let it run for a while, it's good for it. But anyway, this truck, see how that blower motor is running on here. See if that's squealing. Not today? Hmm. This was probably cold. I didn't got a lot to. Yep, there it goes. It's already warm. Look at that. Huh. Doesn't show it's warm on there, but there's warm air coming out already. I'll be darned. That oil's still on full on there. I just checked it. Coolant's on full. Pup dog, if you're watching, everything's still fine. I don't really run it in the winter time. Really, it just sits here. We don't run our diesels in the winter. It's just, they're hard to start, and it's just, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it sounds like the bearing's bad. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, there's a recall on this truck where the cruise control catches on fire. I've never, ever used cruise on here. I don't think I want to try it. Ah, better not.